It's time now for the Athlete of the Week, and it's presented by Diamond Point and Sox Center. And with us now is Jay Fredericks. He's from Sox Center. Well, Jay, let's start out. First of all, tell us about your family, okay? Who's in your family? Uh, my parents are Pat and Lynn Fredericks, and my sister, Jordan Fredericks. She just graduated college like two weeks ago. And then I got my grandparents, Bob and June Fredericks. They're pretty well known, I think. And then on the other side, my grandma, Cheryl Jennison. All right. Good that you got Grandpa in there because you wouldn't hear the last of that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good, good idea. Say, what activities uh, keep you going in school? Um, well, I take a lot of college courses, so I'm always busy with homework. And, like, I take college psychology, college math, and all that stuff. And, yeah. I understand, too, that you're a, a AAA award winner, right? Yep. Yeah, what does that stand for? Um, arts, athletics, and academics. So uh, I'm in choir and for the arts and then academics obviously all the college courses and then athletics three sport athletes so. all right so those are the qualifications then right yep you don't have to be a three sport athlete but that just helps out your case if you are <laughs> oh all right yeah. and amanda lar for the girls right yep okay so in other words you do pretty well in school yep i work pretty hard at it so. all right what is the balance then as you play three sports and then you also have your homework for especially some of the younger athletes how do you balance that out um, I think a lot of times you have to get your homework done as fast as possible and not procrastinate and stuff and you gotta work hard at it and then sports when you're there work hard but then when you come home get your homework done. <laughs> mm -hmm. Do you have uh, some favorite subjects then? Uh, definitely the sciences. Um, I probably want to go into nursing or medicine so I'm really into sciences. 5-4, Minnewaska by one now, their first lead. Fredericks penetrates down. He's a very good passer. Here's Reeland attacking the basket. Dumps it off inside. Schmeezing missed the shot. Got it back somehow. And they get it back out to Silas. He tries to drive down. Can't penetrate all the way through. And now they go to Schmeezing in the lane. No shot, but Fredericks will put it up. And a three is in for Jay Fredericks. His second three-point basket. So Jay Fredericks has a couple of threes. Let's talk about basketball since you're playing that now. You're a football and also a track athlete. But for, for basketball, let me ask you this. What do you think the team expects out of you or what do you expect out of yourself? What are your kind of duties out there as you play? Um, I'm, I'm a big leader for our team, I think. Uh, I help out the offense a lot and I try to shut down the, de the best player on defense. And I just kind of make the team work. So you're in three sports now, as I mentioned. Uh, any favorites there, and uh, why would that be? Uh, definitely basketball. It just always has been from the day I was young, and it's just my sport. <laughs> you just seem to sp spend a lot of time with it. I know yep. you spend a lot of time in the summer and uh, get some help, too. Can you describe what you do to, to work on your game? Um, I owe a big thanks to Patrick Nabla because he's always there helping me throughout the summer. We work out, like, every day pretty much, and we go to the weight room, and then we'll go to the gym and play for a couple hours and then we both go to work or something so <laughs> i know that uh, you work hard on being a better shooter in what way what kind of drills do you do or, or how do you see yourself as improving as a shooter um a lot of times i'll just start with some form shooting and then we'll work our way around and just getting as much shots up as you can have someone rebound for you and it just helps you get better. <laughs> I can see too that uh, you're a very good ball handler and uh, you use a, you go between the legs a lot. What is the advantage of uh, the between the legs dribble instead of uh, say just the crossover? Well if you have the ball out in front of you for a crossover it's easy to get stolen because you can't just let it hang out for the defender so a lot of times I go between the legs if they're reaching a lot to keep it away from them and I want to bring up football with you because kind of a hot topic right now is uh, with the concussion movie that is out. Uh, how do you see that as you have played football now all your life? Uh, any thoughts of ever saying, I don't want to play because of injury or, or something like that? Yeah, that thought has come up because it is kind of scary to think of what the damages can be. Um, but there's a lot of things you can do now. The coaches really em emphasize our form and our tackling and like how we need to keep our heads up and make sure our necks aren't going straight in. and Yeah, but it is a scary thought. Mm -hmm. But for the younger athlete again though too, now that you're a senior, would you advise somebody to play or not play? I would definitely say to play because you know life is short and you can't worry about things like that your whole life, so. Uh, you also seem to be in tremendous shape. <laughs> I watch you, especially yeah. during, the, during the football season, you run and you're way out in front. Uh, do you have a workout program that you go through? 
Uh, no, I just uh, make sure I eat healthy all the time, and I'm always uh, working out as much as I can. And I just I don't have any workout routines, but I just make sure I'm working out like every day. All right. Uh, what uh, What about the track team? Uh, what do you do for the track team? Um, I'm on the four by eight, and I do 300 meter hurdles and. I have a new event this year. I don't know what else, but <laughs> all right, just kind of an all-round type yep. thing. Yeah. All right. How does how does that go for you? How was track? Um, last year we were about a couple seconds away from going to state, so that was pretty pretty cool. But this year we're hoping to get to the state this year, and yeah. You know, one thing I see about you as I watch you play through the years is uh, it doesn't make any, well, it does make a difference. You want to finish first or second or whatever, but mm -hmm. the main thing is just competing. You like to compete, don't you? Yeah, I'm a, I'm a competitor. I always have been. <laughs> and you just want to play. Yep, I do. And then, then is this what rubs off from you then to your other teammates? Do you see that uh, in, a, yeah, in a way that I, happens? I try to get that effect across to my teammates. All right. So after high school, what are the plans? Um, I'm headed to St. John's and hopefully maybe play basketball, and then I'll be going for nursing, so, yeah. All right, go Johnnies. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, and good luck the rest of the season and into the spring, too. Thank you. All right, that's Jay Fredericks. He is from Sox Center, and he is the Athlete of the Week here on Mid-Minnesota Sports, and it's presented by Diamond Point in Sox Center.